Hey guys, how's it going? Here's a little update. Car's been running good up until last night. First, second gear drop mid RPM, barely started kicking the power band in second gear and it blew the driveline. And if you ever wonder if your NA is making enough power, when you start breaking transmissions and drivelines, you're making enough power. This is what it looks like. This is the shifter. All of that is not supposed to be moving like that. If you look down on the inside, that's my dry shaft. It warped this whole tranny tunnel. And this is what it looks like from underneath. Transmission's still good besides the top shifter bracket. Everything else though looks pretty clean. Just destroyed the heat shield and blew out the dry shaft, but other than that, she's still good. I'm just gonna swap the top tranny bracket for the shifter. Oh yeah, it broke that whole thing sideways, look at that. That hole you're looking at is supposed to be lined up on the dowel pin with the bolt going through it. So that whole shifter bracket's broken. That's an easy fix, I got extra. And this was a good transmission too. It came out of an S5 turbo, or no, not turbo, convertible, my bad. And it only had 89 or 90,000 miles on it. And then I converted to a turbo 2 drive shaft, which was a good idea. It handled the power, but what failed on me, if you look at the fittings, see that little hollow end? They're Zerk fittings for grease. If you're ever going to make power with any car, do not run Zerk fitting U joints. They will snap on you. This is the second one. Factory OEM or solid. But once I replace this, the car should be good. I'll have more updates coming soon. Plus the progress through this.